US businessman Chris Kirchner has been selected as the preferred bidder to buy Derby County. The championship club's joint administrators have now confirmed. The American businessman revived his interest in the Rams in recent days, having withdrawn an initial bid three months earlier, with relegation threatened Derby County having been in administration since the 22nd of September. Administrator Quantuma said his offer represents the best deal for the creditors and one which will secure the long-term future of the club. Kirchner followed this by adding, There is a lot of work to do, but I am excited about the future. Texas-based Kirchner, who is co-founder, chairman and chief executive of software company Slink.io, first publicly announced his interest in taking Derby County out of administration in October with an open letter to the club's supporters. At that time, Derby County manager Wayne Rooney backed his attempt to buy the club. However, on December the 24th, he seemingly pulled out of the running and informed the supporters, let the administrators pursue their own course. Today there will be a huge relief at Derby County that a preferred bidder has actually been named. The key thing is that this deal now actually goes through, and quickly, so the club can start to rebuild and get some much needed stability. Until the deal is done there will be an air of caution from anybody that cares about the club, including the staff and players. Although there does seem to be a sense of relief around the club and the city that this positive movement has taken place. The American attended Butler University of Indianapolis to study international marketing before attending the University of Kentucky to take a communications and minor marketing degree. After that, he went on to found his own business, Kirchner Entertainment in 2009, before becoming Director of Marketing and Sales at Turner Labels. After a year, he became Senior Vice President of Sales and Marketing at the company to develop growth and strategy, expand sales globally and manage the sales team. In March 2017, he founded another business, Slink.io, and also became the CEO. Kirchner's total net worth is in the billions and has been increasing each year. However, there have been lots of talks that his net worth was noted at $5 million. This is highly questionable and clearly a talking point among fans. Furthermore, the EFL's fit and proper person test sets out the intention to protect the image and integrity of the league and its competitions the well-being of the clubs and the interest of all stakeholders in those clubs by preventing anyone who is subject to a disqualifying condition being involved in or influencing the management or administration of a club. I think common sense has to come into play here, as the EFL clearly state they will protect themselves and their competitions. A person with a net worth of $5 million cannot afford to purchase an asset for $50 million. In addition, his company raised $70 million in funding in 2021, and he clearly has contacts, knowledge, and the know-how to raise capital for his companies. Former Crystal Palace owner Simon Jordan informed the footballing world that Kirchner could offer serious financial muscle to whichever club he desires to invest in. Jordan went on to tell TalkSport listeners in February 2022, I have had a look at him and I've tried to find a bit about him. Adding, the guy has got serious money, and when you have administrators looking at things, they are looking at them far more forensically in relation to Derby County than I have looked. Before I move on, I'd like to take a moment to encourage you to press the like button if you're enjoying this content. This helps me tremendously with channel growth. And if you're enjoying the content, go ahead and subscribe, but make sure you turn on the notifications bell so you get notified when I upload. This is super important, by the way. Kirchner has made some major inroads in the logistics business, where his main fortune and profits are accumulating. He's also building a new business in which one of the major tech companies out of California has bought a very small stake in for about $70 million. This values that business at around $7 billion. Americans have brought into European soccer in a big way throughout this century, as they believe the sport is on the rise in their own country. Mike Ashley, the former Newcastle owner, was reported to be in the running to buy Derby County, and one could be forgiven to think he will be more suited to own the Rams and lead them out of administration due to his experience in running an English football club. Although, being owned and having a future is clearly a better prospect than the liquidation the Rams face on May the 7th. We have to keep our faith in the AFL and Derby County's administration team to do the right thing by the club, the city and the amazing fan base. Watch this space for updates and I'm quite sure Rams fans, although relegation to League One looms in the distance, this is surely the best case scenario after what has been a time in your club's history to become just that, a part of history. I'll catch you all next time.